Oh, man. Grand Rising. Anybody that saw that Tyson Fury fight, Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou, anyone that saw that fight could see clearly that Francis Ngannou won that fight. Tyson Fury wins by split decision. Wow. Eddie, what is your immediate reaction? I mean, I'm baffled, really. I can't believe it. I mean, firstly, I feel like Ngannou was robbed. Obviously, he scored the knockdown. No one actually did anything in the fight. The fight was a stinker. Boxing been corrupted for, what, 100 years? Boxing has been corrupted for about 100 years. And yesterday showed it. They just couldn't allow the new guy. They just couldn't allow the new guy to come in and get the belt just like that. No, not the new guy. This is his first boxing match professionally. And he's just going to win the belt like that. He cannot be that good. No, no. Yeah. But... And Garnu won the fight. I, I can't believe we're actually having this conversation. I mean, you're talking about a guy that has never boxed before. And respect to him, because he was better than I thought. He still don't beat... Like, people are going to say, how can you say that? Honestly, I don't think he wins southern areas. I talk English, like, Fury looked like he has never put on a pair of boxing gloves before in, in his life. I don't know where... He ran for the rest of the fight. He was dancing, shucking and jiving. He didn't, he didn't stand toe to toe with him anymore. He didn't he didn't try to box with him anymore. He was running the entire fight. Francis Ngannou had to chase him, try to walk him down. He tried he had to try to catch him. I have to give it up to Ngannou's team. They've done a good job with him to get him prepared for Tyson Fury. Dewey Cooper. Yes. John Abamba. Followed him out. Fury trying to come with an overhead right. And I was scoring the fight. I had Francis Ongano up. I had Francis Ongano up from, from the second round. From the second round, I had Francis Ongano up when he knocked him down. And then every uh, and then after that, you have to you have to look into the fact that Tyson Fury kept on running. He didn't want to be in that ring. He didn't want to be in that ring anymore. He didn't train. He didn't prepare himself. And another factor also. This is this is what really gets me. Everybody know that Tyson Fury cheats. And this is what Ronaldo saw in that last round. Ooh, oh, an elbow, elbow came in on the back end of that. What? Wow. Oh, the elbow came in and it's so interesting Tyson Fury is infamous for being a cheating ass boxer he's throwing elbows he's throwing elbows he's running he's throwing elbows and it still wasn't enough I guess for the judges it was if there's going to be a second fight Yeah, there's going to be a second fight because in the contract, I believe in the contract, there has to be a second fight. Will it be as big as the first fight or even bigger? Who knows? I, I honestly, I'm not even going to watch it. Maybe, maybe Francis Ngannou is going to be vindicated in the second fight. Maybe he will be vindicated in the second fight. But I feel the same way about boxing now as I feel about football. It's fake. It's rigged. There, there's an interview when Francis Ngannou even says, oh, that wasn't in the script. It didn't quite go to plan. It was, that wasn't in the script, was it? No, that definitely wasn't in the script. Francis is a hell of a fighter, strong, big puncher, and a lot better boxer than we all thought he would ever be. What script? What do you mean by that? Was was it just was it just a saying that he was using, or was it a literal term?
that wasn't in the script. Is boxing rigged? No, not I mean rigged. Is boxing scripted? Is it scripted? Did Francis Ngannou go against the script? Was the script written for Tyson Fury to win? And Francis Ngannou said, fuck the script. I'm, I'm going to get this belt. Was the script written that way? Because he did say that wasn't in the script. And he said it so coyly. He said it, he said it coy, in a coy way. But when I look at it, I look at it as he was saying it in a literal term. Top against Francis. Short left hand from Nganu. You can clearly see when you watch the fight, you can clearly see how Tyson Fury was running. He didn't want no smoke. He didn't want no smoke no more. He, he, he got his senses knocked in. He knocked some senses in. For the uppercut on the inside. Francis upon separation trying to drive down a right hand. There's a right hand from... Can he deliver it? Does he have the delivery system against an elite boxer? Punch as he turns Fury here in round... After that, he was trying to hug him the whole fight. He was trying to make love, not war. Childhood, enduring hard labor in the sand mines. You see the hesitation now coming from Nganu. Trying to make it blood from the nose of Fury is a two punch combination from Francis. And then he keeps punching. Yep. As Fury came forward, Fury was looking for the upper. He, he's, he was literally, literally hugging him like they were best friends. All the adversity overcome in his move to France and his climb up to the UFC heavyweight championship. But becoming a boxer, fighting for it all. Fury looks tired, Tess. He, he really looks, does. He looks exhausted. Tying up on the inside, Tim. He has not let... He was running the entire fight. He didn't want to fight him anymore. He ran the entire fight. He turned into Hussein Bolt. His hands go as often as he would prefer on the inside. That's a great example right there. The willingness to wrap around the back of Francis Ngannou instead of throwing leather. Like they came, like they came to that ring to hug it out. Tyson Fury was really trying to hug it out. Here are the judges' scorecards. Ed Garner scores it 95 94 in Gano. Juan Palayo scores it 96 93 for Fury. Alan Krebs scores it 95 94. A one point decision on the third card. Winner by split decision, still undefeated from the United Kingdom, the WBC heavyweight world champion, the Gypsy King, Tyson. Rondo scored about 57-56 to the winner by majority decision, Tommy 